Hello and welcome to another iMovie tutorial with Stefan's Bilderwelt. Today I would like to show you how to clone something. You can clone anything, you can even clone yourself. Just make sure one thing. Make sure you always have the same light in every shot. Otherwise it won't look quite good. Also make sure not to wear anything green or have something green lying around on the surface you want to record. Okay, let's have a look how it works. First you should of course select the footage you want to use. Yeah, I just need a small part. Almost. I think that's it, so drop it down. Next thing, we need the second part where I just move the camera over to the right. So it's one shot. And the light is, as you can see, the very same. And now it's important to put it onto the first clip and then select green screen. And as you can see, you can see nothing. <laughs> so select the top clip and yeah, crop it. As you can see now, uh, there is some greenish uh, yeah, surrounding color. So what I do, I press I and just bring down the green a little bit. This will change the footage, of course. So we will look for the right white balance as well in this case. So just play around a little bit with the sliders, also with the brightness, saturation and so on and you will find quite a perfect look. Also, you can make a ghost picture almost, or even bring the saturation down so you have a gray image if you go for a footage like this. So you have a lot of possibilities with this as well. Of course, you have to adjust the color for the lower clip. So just press again I and change the white balance as you like it. You won't get it perfect in every case. So uh, here we have this uh, white plate lying on the table. So it's a little bit more difficult to find the right balance, but yeah, it will be quite nice at the end. So to make it uh, yeah, a bit more nice, I would like to put down a video effect. So there's one problem with iMovie you are only able to apply one effect at the time. So if I find a nice looking effect now for the lower clip, I can apply it, but I cannot apply it again to the clip on the top. The only effects I can apply are audio effects. But no worry, there is a way around it and we have a look at this one. So the only chance to apply another effect is to first export the movie. Do this in a high resolution so you have a good footage afterwards. That's also a good chance to put maybe a third object by a green screen on to your footage. So export the file as it is. So then you need to import the video again or the clip. Just find it in your folders. There it is. So, and then you just bring down the whole clip to your timeline. So, hit I again and apply the video effect you want to use. I go for the old world style. And yeah, looks quite nice. And as you can see now, there's almost no line left from the green screen effect. So yeah, that's the one I want to have. That's fine, we leave it like that. Hope you did enjoy this one as well. If you did, please go for a thumb up, subscribe and of course, please do share with your friends. Thank you very much and bye bye.